Schaefer just nailed it and today we are going to do a nail prep video. I do not believe I've done one of these before and I was requested by a friend of mine, a supporter, friend slash supporter. So we are going to get started. The items you're going to need is your nail of course. So I'm choosing one of these off my flexi nail since mine are painted. Cuticle pusher. Files, which we are starting with a brand new file, so I'm going to show you how to take care of that first. Let me see. It's pretty much all you need. Take your cuticle pusher. Push back your cuticle to your side walls as well. You might have dead skin there. Do that. Take your other end of your cuticle pusher. Scrape away any dead skin you may have. And if it's been a while, you're going to have some. Don't do, depends on if you're left or right handed. I am right handed, so I start at the inside of my. And if you are left handed, you start at the opposite, you start at the outer, and work your way toward the inner. Next, take your file, which I'm going to show you how to start with a brand new file. This is my old, as you can tell. This is the brand new. Take your old file. Score the, I call it score the edges. I can't remember if that's the proper term or not. Take care of the edges of your file this way. You do not cut your client. And you are ready to start. Use the curved end of curved edge of your file. Go around your client's nail. This I should be using the right side. Keep your client's nail in the finger. Which, let me see. This is a 180, 100, 180 grip file. I'm gonna get my brush. Make sure the nail is pushed back into the cuticle as you're on a practice hand. Scrape away the dead tissue. Now you're gonna shape your nail. Always start with your edges. Actually, actually, you should do your tip first. I'm doing a scoville. Don't do, try to do as long strokes. Look at this in a couple different directions to make sure that when your client is looking at the nail, she is also getting a straight scoville nail. So now I'm going to take the edge of my file. Not the edge of my file. I'm going to scoville the nail. Make it curve at the edges. Check it from my point of view. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Off, make sure you have got no shine left on the nail. You have taken your file, squared off your nails so you have the perfect shape that you want, whether it be oval, square, coffin, ballerina. And there we are. We are now going to take some isopropyl alcohol and a prep pad. You can get you, I prefer a lint free. You can get you a, a, a uh, remove around. You can get tissue. Preferably something lint free. Clean off your nail. That way you get all dust and debris. You are now ready for polish. That is how you prep for regular polish and for gel. 
You can put on gel polish, not hard gel, just gel polish. So if you were going to do, let me open these. Say you're going, you're doing lacquer, and I put a hardener on before mine. You can put on a sticky base coat, your regular base coat. I preferably, I got thin nails, so I put a hardener on mine. Cap the end of your nails. Let that dry. Now you take your regular hardener, or not your hardener, I'm sorry, your base coat. I can't get the cap off. Take your hardener, I'm still gonna say it, your base coat. Take one stroke down the middle, back down the each side, back down the middle. Cap your free edge. There you go, you are as soon as that dries, you are ready for polish for lacquer. If you are doing a regular gel manicure, you would put your remember this is lacquer. You'd put your base coat on. No you wouldn't. Let me back up. Let me back up. After filing, after your nail prep is all done, you have cleansed the nail thoroughly, put on a bonder for gel polish. This is a bonder by Nail by Nikki that I have for doing acrylic nails that I was sent. We'll get into acrylic and hard gel in just a momento. Then you let that air dry. Take your base coat. Put this on the nail. One stroke down the middle. Tap your free edge. Sticker in the lamp. Next, methods number 106. This is beautiful. Let me see here out of the light. I'm going to call this a purpley plum. A burgundy maybe. Let me see once I get out of the nail. Wipe off one side of your brush completely. Whoops. Having some troubles. Brace your finger on your other hand. Tap the end of your nail. I'm going to stick this back to the lamp. Give it a quick cure. Now, your regular polish. This has dried. You put your base coat on, which I did. I put a hardener on first. Base coat. You can use a sticky base coat on regular polish. This is just regular base coat. Um, I did not have my sticky base coat handy. Apply some real polish. And I don't have any handy. Let me check this out here. Here's one. This is a... I think it's called Stomp. I can't see. My eyes are still not 100% clear yet from my eye surgery. So I'm kind of getting tired of saying that. Do one stroke down the middle, down the sides. Cap the end of your nails. Remember, this one just sits here and dries. Just real quick, we are not going to push back cuticles since this is a fake nail. We are going to hold, hold, hold. Get my brush. Brush it off. Make sure there is no shine left on the nail. Get 
your prep pad, wipe the nail off real good. Now you are ready for, this is for acrylic and your hard gel, you put on your dehydrator. You can make your own ladies, you do not need to go to a store and buy it. Oh, do I have more than one? I think I might have had more than one here. Let me check. I don't know. Take your dehydrator, which you can make at home. Isopropyl alcohol and acetone equal parts. Clean the nail. Go on with your, that's your dehydrator, I'm sorry. Put your dehydrator on, on the real nail. That's your chip that you glued on. You're all before that. Put your dehydrator on, get your bonder. Put this on the nail twice. Wait for it to dry. Bump your gums a little bit. Talk to your client. Find out what's going on with her. Be positive what design she wants and go in for a second coat of the bonder. On the real nail only. Thin layer of clear acrylic. This nail is all prepped and ready. Do not touch the nail surface and so you'll be wiping it and priming it again. Sorry about the phone. So you are ready to lay your clear, clear acrylic and go on from there. That we are not gonna dabble in. We're gonna go back with the gel polish nail. They're doing this start to finish. Try to fan your brush out when you lay down your polish. You cover more surface that way. Whoops. You have your free edge. Pop her back in the lamp. We'll come back with our real lacquer. Fan your brush out. Should brace your finger and your hand when you do that. We are done with the regular polish. We are letting it air dry. This is a beautiful, beautiful pink for spring and summer. We are going to top coat with this sheet when it is ready. Let me check my gel nail. Now we are going to go on with our top coat. Like I said, I've got eye methods top coat here. This is for gel polish users only. Tap your nail. That protects it. It has a long layer. We have got our gel. Oh my god, I don't believe I did that. I'm always touching things. My mother yells at me to quit touching things and look what I just did. Smeared the regular polish. Yep, I screwed this up. Here is your gel. Remember the lacquer don't touch, even though you just put a fast drying top coat on it. It still has to dry a little bit. So let me fix this nail. I'm not going to hold you up with the process of that all over again. If you are a lacquer, real polished wearer, you know the steps to take. Don't touch, let it dry, even though you can use the fast drying top coat. Give it 10 minutes. So here's your acrylic nail. From this point on, you either put a form on, glue a tip on, cut this off and glue a tip on so it's just a smidge shorter. My rings that I got, let me get my fingers up here, I got from Tammy's Manny's. These were a gift from her. And I. So here's our gel our lacquer prep nail and our acrylic prep nail. Now ladies, we are good to go. We got to free finish this one off camera. 
gel nail, you are ready to go. Your lacquer nail, you are ready to apply. Your lacquer, or not your lacquer, your acrylic nail. Sorry about that, I'm getting tongue tied here. You are ready to apply your acrylic. Oh, and I just keep messing this nail left and right. Yep, it's time to call the day. Well, hope this video was informative for you. Hope you have learned something new here from me today. I am not a nail tech. I am not a licensed professional. I am just a nail enthusiast. I know I'm having a brain fart. I'm a nail addict. Um, but this is the steps for prep. Hope you've learned. Hope you will apply to your own regimen. Well, remember, let it dry before you touch it. Don't make a boo-boo like I did. Don't touch. Well, that is all for today. We will see you next time. Thank you and have a blessed day.